One thing that I like about the current meta is that uh, strength heroes and tanky items are viable finally. Like it's been a long time since heart was seen as like a good item, but it's actually pretty popular right now. So that's kind of cool. The tanky heroes is really fun when you're playing the tanky heroes or your team has them. But when you're playing against them and you don't really have damage to kill them, it's kind of sucks because you click all your spells and they still have 3000 health on all their cores. Farm heavy metas are the only, one of the only ways to play right now. Uh, what most pros say, or at least people close to pro teams, is they say that it, there's so much farm in the map that if you cross the map to try to gank and you're unsuccessful, then you could have spent that time hitting creeps instead that your opponent, like your opponents were doing, and you lose a couple thousand net worth disadvantage. So it basically dis discourages ganks because if it doesn't work, it's you're really far behind. Making aggressive moves that are mistakes are way more costly. Because if you try to make an aggressive move and you die, you lose so much more of the map now that they can farm and you can't farm. So it almost feels like you'd rather not make a bad play and just farm than take like a risk to make any aggressive play. And it's only good to make plays when it's like very confirmed that it'll be a good play. So that is why some teams are very farm heavy. Most teams are very farm heavy because it's a safer gameplay. Um, and then you wait until some like late game timing where you're ready to go high ground kind of a thing. So it's uh, it leads to kind of slightly boring games, unfortunately. But I think there's hope because day one of the playoffs that we just watched on the road to the international, um, upper bracket teams generally played really fast and lower bracket teams played pretty slow. So day two was quick. Day three was slow again because day three was a lot of lower bracket teams. So I think that as the tournament continues, those upper bracket teams that play really fast and don't buy many hands of Midas's are going to punish the uh, the lower bracket teams. So uh, that should make the games more exciting and a little bit less boring.